All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Rudy, you're watching Alpha Investments, and today we are going back to Drano Land. Uh, to con we are at video 31 out of 35. That means this is the 61st and 62nd box we have opened on this channel, as we have learned a ton, everybody. I mean, my God, I think that's one thing we can all agree. Look how much we have learned about these throne collector's boxes. It's been insane. So Kyle, Kyle T, good luck, sir. Welcome to the Thunderdome. I hope you don't get slapped across the face. And good luck, sir. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But the last uh, last couple of these been wild. Uh, the last one we did, uh, we had the weird du glitch duplication cards. It was very, very weird, everybody. Hospitality for the rare. Midnight Clock for the first. And the Talisman for the regular foil rare. All right, so we're going to jump over, look for the clump zone. We're going to go bottom right. Yeah, so we've had some uh, really strange box openings in the last uh, couple days here with the variants. We had some duplicate on the Okos. We had some weird sorting of the cards in the box. Fay of Wishes, a uh, nice uh, showcase frame, bonus rare. Ooh, double! That's very, very tough to get. Two double bonus rares. A Fink, terrible. Uh, Outlaw, we did get a Mythic Extended Art. Very nice. And an Emery. Very nice foil rare. Not the not the uh, box stopper, but still very, very good hit. All right, so we'll try top right this time. Yeah, I've had a little bit tough of time uh, actually trying to track the uh, the hot packs because they've been a little bit more mixed up in this batch. Probably about the last, what, three, four videos, everybody? And we got the sprites, the tree, and the rimrock. We've got ourselves the uh, three little dude uh, Rudy there. Piper and the realm cloaked giant rare. By the way... Anybody knows how extremely difficult it is to get this in the Showcase Frame Mythic? <laughs> it's got to be one of the rarest cards in the set. All right, bottom right. See if we can... This should be the clump zone. Unless we've got a very strange split box both in the middle. Which is possible. It's highly unlikely, but it is possible. Witch's Oven. I love... I just want to comment for a second. I know we burned through these videos. I really love the flavor and theme of like these artifacts. The Witch's Oven... And a lot of these weird little just uh, common, uncommon cards. I just think it's really cool. Teller of Tales. Nice little uh, mythic brawl. Castle. There we go. We found the box stoppers. Lord of Gownbreak for our very first one. Not a crazy hit there, but we finally found it. So, we did find bottom left. Let's go with number two. All right. Yeah, I just, I really love the flavor. That's all. Just want to lay that out there. Just pretty cool. That's all. Just pretty cool. By the way, halfway through the box, no uncommon showcase. Very unusual. Another Murdish Rider. That's a double. We got ourselves four-headed Rudy the Turtle. And we got ourselves the Worthy Knight and the old Piper of the Swarm for box topper number two. Gorgeous looking card. So we have found two in a row. Let's see if they're all four going to be clumped together. Let's see if we get another box topper or a showcase for hot pack number three. But no, I just, I just want to comment how much I love... Like, this is the first set that reminds me of that Morning Tide, Lore Wind type of era. I just absolutely just love it. Mean, that, if you don't find beauty in that artwork, I don't, that is just astonishing. Who drew that? Uh, Gaber? Gabor? Gabor? I mean, just astonishing quality. Murr, folks, Secret, secret Keeper. And uh, Baked to Pie still just gives me that chuckles. Wow, still no, un look at that, no uncommon showcase. That's crazy. Nothing in the middle. Ugh, common griffin, terrible again. Witch's Vengeance and Bone Crusher Giant, everybody. So, uh, yeah, this is our number three. And by the way, I want to comment real quick <laughs> on my videos many times because the way I have the really good natural lighting uh, to make it look good. A lot of people think like the cards are damaged, and they're not really damaged, by the way. It's just the way the angle of the camera looks and the way the light reflects on some of the foiling. So you really, it may look like the edge is worn, but it's really, like if you change the image or the angle, it's really not. I just want to point that out. A lot of people always ask why a lot of my boxes have certain cards that may look like they're frayed or have some sort of rough edge. So I want to at least uh, comment. I know people were curious about that. That's all. All right, what do we got here? Finally, our first Creepy Chick Uncommon Showcase. Haven't had any all day here. First one, huh? And should be our fourth and last. Banish, nice little rare. Rudy's hair, and a giant killer. So we did have a split box, two box toppers, and two showcase. And again, don't underestimate the value of some of these. 
And I know that the negativity is uh, flourishing at full power right now, but I really want to point out um, that I truly think long term these are going to be a very interesting aging product. I've said that from day one before when I first heard about this type of product because very, very few people, ooh, nice little Rowan Mythic, are going to want to literally sit on these things because the amount of money and how low and how much they tanked and the negativity and this is going to be, I, I really firmly feel thrown collector's boxes are going to be a very surprising priced item in the next couple of years. Now, full disclosure, again, I told everybody else, I am in the process of trying to accumulate and get a position in this product because I believe in that. So I'm also going to kind of uh, buy a lot of it and place my bets and, you know, where my, uh, put the wallet where the mouth is, as they say. And Iron Craig Pyromancer for this one. So we're getting some blah packs on these last few here. I'm not seeing any Okos, no crazy hits. I don't see any of the flipping, um, I haven't seen Fable Passage. What else are we missing? The Big Daddies. Um, what's the beast? I forgot, oh my goodness. Early morning filming. I never remember what I'm doing. All right. Foul Knight. At least we're finally getting that. And hey, Bone Crusher. Very nice. At least we got a rare in the middle. And hey, we got another bonus rare. We got a nice squadron there. The old Elder. And Return of the Wild Speaker for the foil rare of this pack. Yeah, we haven't had, uh, Questing Beast. Haven't seen any Questing Beast. Haven't seen any Okos. Haven't, no Robbers of the Riches. Haven't seen a lot going on in this video. This, uh, this first box is starting to feel a little weak, man. I was like, where's all the goodies? And uh, we had a couple. I mean, we had we did get our four hot packs, but still, not really anything to really blow the old doors off. Hey, our second Brawl Mythic. That's nice. Some videos, we don't even get one. Castle Garenbrig and, ugh, a little serpent. I don't think anybody really gets excited about a flipping serpent nowadays. All right, end of box one here as we zip over to box two. Overall, definitely one of our weaker Throne of Eldraine, uh, Collector's Boxes. God, look at that art. Isn't that amazing? Love the flavor of this set, man. Hope it, I hope it does well, because uh, I'm going to invest in it. I'm going to put my money into it, and uh, I'm going to look like an idiot if it doesn't. All right! Chittering Witch for the rare. Nice, the Pyromancer extended. Ending on the claimed contender. Standard foil red, everybody. All right, that's the end of box one, everyone. We're going to zip over to box two. Um, honestly... Uh, I wasn't, I'm not impressed by that last box. That was the first time we've done a, a collector's box, probably in uh, about at least 10 videos. I'm um, not very impressed by that. We did not hit any of the crazy stuff. Kind of weaker pulls. Kind of kind of blah. You know, no surprises of Garooks or Okos and Questing Beasts and Fabled Passage. That was a weak one. So let's see if we can do a little better on box two here, Kyle. All right, here we go, everybody. Moving forward, moving forward. I feel like people are going to like, you can make a really interesting night deck with that. I thought that was a pretty good, because that didn't even come into play tapped. You know, assuming I knew how to play Mujik the, the Guthering. All right, everybody. Skyblazer. Castle Embrith. And starting out. Oh! Hot Zone. Clump Pack. Right out of the gate. All right. Giant Kill. That's the way. Is that the same? That's the same one we had in the other box. Well, that's really improbable. That's really tough to do, considering the rarity of those things. All right. Maybe we're going to have all four of the old uh, Hot Packs right up front. Or we're going to have a two and two split. Never know on this video today. All right. Unicorn. And a Beanstalk. Nice little double showcase. Another giant kill, oh my goodness. Uh, that's awkward. Okay, that's like three we've gotten. Signet, finally, haven't seen you in a couple videos. Doom foretold, and a, wow. In my opinion, one of the toughest cards to get. Extended art, box toppery, fancy hot pack, foil realm cloak giant. I know this isn't like a super sought after top tier card, but this is the toughest card for me to get on camera. This mythic, I mean, that's, I think this is literally the first or second time we've even seen this card out of all 60 box openings we've done in 30-something videos. Just to, just to kind of lay it out there, I just want to give people an, an idea of how rare it is until we see that particular card. It's very tough to find. All right, anyways, our first showcase. Ooh, double tap showcase, very nice. All right, Order, Rose, and Unicorn. All right, Elders. Ooh, I see some spiciness coming. Return of the Wild Speaker and the Mirror Maid for the box topper. This is number two or three? Uh, three. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I'd like to see something crazy like a, a Fabled Passage or a, a Questing Beast or something really exotic. That'd be really sweet. Or, of course, an Oko, Garouk, anything like that would be really epic right now. By the way, I think that's a really cool card. Just laying that out there. All right. We got ourselves nothing there. And we got ourselves the Hero of Ashvale. Very nice. Our third Brawl Mythic for today's video. 
Fires of Invention and the last box topper, Happily Ever After. Fancy schmancy, nice beautiful colors. And that is it. So we did hit all four. And again, friendly reminder, now that I've hit the four big packs, do not buy loose packs in the open market because now I can sell all these as a shady uh, Rudy WPN Goldfish fourth floor basement store to unsuspecting customers of loose packs. Do not buy loose packs on eBay or Amazon or anywhere. Oh, but Rudy Rudy Minor and Blister Packs, really? You don't think I can cut the glue off the side and just swap out the pack and return it to Amazon? It's not like they check. Come on, don't. Just be careful. People do shady crap. Mesa the Valiant. Ooh, this is becoming a really good pack. Giant Killer, Mesa the Valiant, Emery, and a Fable Passage Rare. Probably one of the best packs we've had in today's video. That is a flipping. Oh my god. Did we get... I think we even had a double showcase. With a rare, with a rare, with an Emery in. Wow. Might be the best pack of the video, everybody. That's going to be a really, really... <laughs> that's going to be a really tough opening to beat, everybody. Oh, hold on. I hit the camera a little. You guys still sorry about that. All right. We good? Everybody back to normal? I was like, I think I messed with the camera. There we go. We're back. Okay. Wow. That was... I. We may have hit peak video there. That was... Quite amazingly, <laughs> that is the best pack, man. All right, we got ourselves a knight, a flock, and the mer folk. Our first swing and crap out Thornwood Falls. Creepy Charming plant Prince and a Stolen by the Fae. Very cool card. Fortunately, just the standard framing, not the uh, extended op fancy box top of showcase variant. Just saying. Does so everybody still think there's too many variants? You think they're going to cut back or make more variants? It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Murderous Rider, very nice, and a heavy sprite. And the Shimmer Dragon for the nice rare. Midnight Clock for the extension. And the old big Black Lance Paragon for the foil rare. Not a bad little card. All right. Makes you wonder if they're going to increase the variance or reduce it with the Pharaohs. Fairy Guide Mother. And going right to... God, love, isn't that cool? These slippers. I, I just find that. It remind, I hate to say it. It remind, All the uh, fairy tale thing reminds me of the Alice Cluster from back in the day of Force of Will. Just going to lay that out there, if any of it even knows what that is at this point. All right, animating. Embereth and Rimrock. Ah, the Kenrith. Finally, a nice little bonus myth. Haven't seen you in a while. And we... Oh, Great Henge Mythic. That's what we needed. There we go. That is what you want to see outside of your hot packs. Dude, Great Henge Foil Mythic. Fantastic hit, everybody. Absolutely awesome card. I have no idea what the value is, if it's gone to crap or it's held. I have no idea, but that's a fantastic card. Rudy's Little Cabin in the Woods, followed by a nice little op. Oh, that's very nice. Wow. And a hippie. Wow, that's a, that was a really good beginning pack. Holy crap. And no rares in the middle. Eh, Tomb of Legends. Kind of a eh card. And spiky Rudy hair. And a sundering stroke for the foil rare on that one. Man, foil. That's what I said. If you Because I've had, I think there was one or two videos we've done this channel when we hit that, uh, the Mythics and even the non-box toppers, we hit some crazy... We had some boxes where people were getting, like, two foil Mythics outside of the four kind of really, really good clump zone. I mean, just really impressive. If you can get that, whew, that's big money. All right, we got a Gadwick the Wizend for a regular foil bear, everybody. All right, moving on, moving on. We only got two packs left. I know these boxes go pretty quick, everybody. And nothing. I love the theme. Come on, look at it. Look at that awesome bird. Reminds me of the Sphinx. And look at that. Look at the broom. I mean, I know it's a silly card, but isn't that cool looking? I love the flavor. I know it's not the greatest card, but it's just, I like the flavor. We got ourselves a troll. Worthy Knight and the Fires of Invention for the regular foil rare. And the last pack today. Overall, Kyle, not a home run box, not a complete dumpster fire. This is going to be an average. I say box one was like a 5 out of 10. I say box two was a little better at about probably 6 or 7 out of 10. Mostly because you got a foil mythic outside the clump zone. And we got ourselves an Oko, finally. Uh, I mean, oh wait, that's the sixth draw. Up, oh, that's that's what we're talking about. Look at this ending of the pack. Okay, so we didn't get the high-end Oko. It's a six-drop Planeswalker, cheaper Oko. We did get a mythic questing beast, extended art, non-box topper, and a love struck, regular frame. Uh, very good hit right here, even in that slot. So actually not too bad. I'm going to raise that to about an 8 out of 10 on this box. Not too bad. Not a 10 out of 10 perfect box, but hey, not bad. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and I appreciate the support, Kyle. Enjoy the cards. They're heading your way. And again, everybody, thanks for watching. As always, thank you for the honor and privilege to allowing me to entertain you, and everybody have a splendid day.